Hi everyone. In today's session, we are going to learn how to set table pagination in Tableau. For this, we'll be using sample SuperSource dataset, which is available on Tableau. So let's get started. As you can see here, in this particular dashboard, we have a table with quantity, profit, order, and customer names. And at the bottom of the table, you can see the page numbers, which we can select by pressing the previous or forward arrow key, which will take you to a next page. We have a page size, which by default is showing the value of 30, but you can increase the number of rows shown on the dashboard by clicking the right arrow key if you want to increase the number of rows in the dashboard, or by clicking the left arrow key if you want to increase the number of rows in the dashboard. For this calculation, I have used an increment of five in this parameter, but you can set whatever number of increments you want by setting up in a parameter which i'll be showing you later in the video so let's get started by creating a brand new dashboard so first of all we have to connect a new data source so in this case we will be connecting sample superstore which is available on tablet as i have mentioned earlier so on the left hand side we get the entire list of dimensions and measures so let's create a table first by bringing the order right into row shelf and we bring all the members into that and then we bring customer name let's bring all of them let's maybe bring profit numbers or we bring sales numbers so now as you can see here and I want to use a table so I will click on that so now you can see here we have a long list of numbers and we have a scroll bar here so now what we need to create is the pagination instead of using the scroll bar. So how we can achieve that? So first of all, we need to create a index calculation. So we will create a index calculation where we will just bring index function. So as you can see here, index function I will bring it next into the row shelf and I want a discrete values so I will right click on that and select the discrete values so now you will see we have indexed each of the rows so by index what I mean to say is like index function is used to return the current row in the partition and it is showing that without sorting in regards to its value so whenever we use index function, as you can see here, the first row will be indexed to number one. And then it will be incremented by number one. And you can see it started from number one and the total number of rows in this dashboard is 5009. So it will increment by one and show index all the rows in that format. So first calculation was index, which we have created. Now we need to create a parameter which is for page size so it should be a integer value and by default we can keep it any so let's say 30 is by default value and we want a range so with minimum let's keep it 10 and maximum we can keep it let's say 500 if we want and step size we can keep Five. and click OK so now we got the page size and then we have to create another calculated field which is page number so for this what we need is first of all we need to bring the index value and that index value we need to divide it by the page size and why we are doing this I will show you in a second so after dividing these two numbers I want the integer value and then we need to add plus one <coughs> excuse me so once we are done with this click OK and let's bring this page number field next to index in the row shelf and again change it to discrete value so now you can see here what we are trying to say 
is by page numbers. We are selecting page number one, page number two, based on the index calculation. So let's bring page size parameter control and we show it here. Let's do it, let's say 25. And let's bring page number into filter section. And we press OK. And let's show it as a filter value. And this one, I want it as a discrete value. So let me remove it and bring it back again. So let me change it to discrete value page number by right clicking and then bring it back to filter section select all of them and click OK and right click on that one or click on the drop down icon and show filter you'll see all the numbers here so these are the page numbers which we currently have and we can say single value slider which we have used here so <clears throat> we have shown let's say page size is 20 right so we are showing from 1 to 19 which actually shows 19 rows so in order to show 20 rows because of the page size what we can do is update the index calculation and just say index minus one and you will see now what happens so click on ok so now you will see the values from 0 to 19 which is a sum of 20 rows so that's another way of doing it so you can adjust the calculation the way you want it and page number what that calculation is doing so let me edit that calculation and show you what i mean so when we divide index value so let's take an example of row number 15. so let me bring a calculator here so here we are saying index value so in this case let's say 15 divided by page size so in this case the page size is 20 so we click on 20 and it gives us 0.75 and we are saying convert that 0.75 into integer value which is 0 and then we add 1 into that which will become 1 so in this case 1.75 but because we haven't changed it to 0 but now the result what we get will be 1 in this case so which is our page number so if we take another example where we go to page number 2 right and there we bring that calculation again so we pick up let's say row number 32 which is 32 as an index value so 32 divided by 20 equal to 1.6 so when we convert 1.6 into integer it will be 1 so 1 plus 1 which is in our calculation is equal to 2 what uh, so if you see here so this will be coming as 1 one plus one will give you two so that's how we are setting up the page numbers so once we have achieved this so we don't need these page number and index value so i will just remove it from the row shelf and you will see it this way then i bring the dashboard and i will just drag it into here and you can adjust the formatting by fitting the width or even if you want to fit the entire dashboard you can do it this way and you can see the page numbers and you can move it wherever you want and you can see how easy it is to bring the page numbers similar to the indexing feature what we see in normal books textbooks i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and we'll catch you next time thanks everyone